All right, Christy, I'm making you this video just to kind of update you on where Casper's at. So he is a great, great dog, and he's very, very soft temperament. So I think the pager is perfect for these dogs. These dogs are not going to do good with standard eyes, whatever these people call this electronic collar training. So he's got all the obedience, and I've done it. I've done it so uh, kids can handle him. So I've got my pager, and I don't know if you guys have these. You should get them in practice on the retired dogs. The kids could do it. It's not going to hurt them. So it's got a sound, but it's really more the... Christy's like, I know what it is. So I'm hooking the leash to that. Obviously, I've got my platform. I don't have to say anything. I'm not kind of saying, are you ready or whatever, and he's looking around. He's ready to go. So I want them to be able to get the leash on and the collar. And I do think you should present it as a singular piece of equipment. Not always, but initially. I'm adjusting my box, always feeding my leash out. And I'm saying if it's a child handler or whatever, if we just tell them to hold the leash and then the parent does the pager, it works. So you just tell the kid to walk. Sheet. He's kind of just floating along. He's floating along. It's it's less than a real formal heel, but it's actually better. Alright, uh, backing, backing, backing. <laughs> Into the backing sheet. Now Parker kind of messed it up. If you kind of just have a little There's a possibility of going backwards. And we're kind of step for step for step. I was thinking of doing a dog dancing thing, girl. I don't know if you saw my... Hi, Christy. Hi, George. Yeah, that's my new thing, girl. I'm going to start doing dog dancing. But if the leash gets tight, you know, and it might with kids. Kids are not gonna be good handlers. Why would they be? You know what I mean? If you said, well, my kid does the plumbing and all these other things, well, maybe, but they're not gonna be good handlers when they're small. So he's basically just operating on Honestly, girl, I don't know how I trained without the platform before. So then you just got to say to yourself, because of the nature of the tool, I don't have to have the leash. The problem is people have put a leash on and kind of done the wrong things. All right, I found the keys. So what he's got also is if we're going along, he's very diligent in watching me in case I drop something.
So he's kind of always like that. He's watching me. Gives him right to me. That is absolutely perfect, girl. He's very easy to handle. Doesn't have any aggressive behavior. Christy wants to see it one more time. I just pretend like I'm kind of putting it in my pocket. Uh oh. Oh no, it broke. All right, so he'll go get. He might get the little piece. Oh no, the piece broke in half. Jeez, how did they not make it? He might. He'll get it. He'll try. Oh, it's time to get my glue. All right, and then he's got. Because this is kind of my theory, girl. You know, if they're walking the dog, how much of the day are people really walking the dog? So, if you know, if the only time that they're spending training is when they're out walking, that's not going to be that much time. And there's going to be days when they're not even going to have time for that. So we teach them a seated handler. There's a seated handler, and then the dog just lays down. The dog lays down because the handler is seated, and then that's when you pretend to talk on your phone. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, he's the best dog ever. Uh-huh. Oh, no, I've never seen a better one than him. Oh, uh, gentle, gentle, so. Mm-hmm. And then you are like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, he's not in a bit of trouble. All right. All right, well, I've got to go. Talk to you later. This dog can be trained for anything, girl. This dog could be any kind of service dog because he's so in tune. And he'll keep carrying them. And he will do it all off the leash too because I have the pager. basket in my hand, I can still do it. Yay. My body language is somewhat obstructed. Here's my turn. Oh, he's a little fancy. Look at his feet. There's my turn. And sometimes you might, I, you know, like when I was at the store the other day, you might need him to take one step back. If you're walking right in front of the door like I was, I don't know if you saw that one, but you might need him to take one step back. Yay. Or you might need him to go forward. Casper. Go that way. Or turn this way. Or go in their back and shoot. Dog in training. Whoops, all right, that was the phone ringing. Uh, hi, Elsa. That was probably Connie. I gotta run and give Luke a bath real quick. But he'll get the, he's got a little drill. Any of yours could do this, girl. I don't know if you remember, but he did it. He picked up the thing the very first day. Oh, I'm gonna go back and find his old puppy video. So I'm just gonna put the dumbbells and the basket, all of it down here. I'm going to face away. Yay. He put it back in there. I don't know if you saw that. Yay. Oh, he's absolutely precious. So I don't say anything. It's kind of no fault training because... Now he's gonna see, he thought he could maybe get two trips. Yeah. Or get two in one trip. Oh, he's absolutely precious. All right, so he's gotta go get the leash, so I just have to look at it. That's my role, and I got a guard. You gotta do this, this is good to do with kids. If you said, well, how could you do it? Maybe put a sandwich in there and have the kid go like that one time. 
Instead of having kids eat off of paper plates, you have them eating out of a basket. Yeah, their food's kind of down in there, but if the dog gets too close. All right, so I'm looking at the leash. Anyway, girl, I hope you like that, and he is just a super, super special dog. I mean, you would not want... Oh, he's unbelievable. He just really... If you said you can't genetically breed aggression out, I'd say, yeah, you can, because that's what these dogs are. You know, he's just a very, very gentle soul. He doesn't have any... He's got the temperament of a baby harp seal. So, anyway, you guys, I gotta run and give Luke a bath. I hope Connie's not like 10 minutes away, but I'll be back. And Kimberly Ann, I hope you're just amazed by Angus and his. It's a very, very complex case, girl, but it's a very, very interesting case. So, I, I, I really didn't foresee him being at this point at this time, but well, you, you've got to act on intuition with dogs. You know that, girl. All right, guys, I gotta give Luke a bath, but I'll be right back after that.